Next step, we'll choose our shadow layer, go to Effects, Simulation, CC Pixel Poly. Uh, if this effect isn't available uh, at your After Effects, you may have a trial version or something, because it's only available in the full version. Or you have just version which I don't know where it comes from. So um, if you don't have this effect, sorry guys, <laughs> um, it's available in the full version. So click it, apply it, and you'll see that it shatters. A bit unspectacular right now. I'll press zero to render it. But it shatters. So next we'll need an explosion. Uh, well, the thing with um, explosions is that they are really hard to generate in programs like After Effects or even in other very more expensive programs. So the best explosions are the real filmed ones. So we'll use one of these. Um, I've already have it here. Um, HP Nautic found it on YouTube and I'll apply the download link to the description. So download it, unzip it, uh, the password X Studios is written in the video description as well and it looks like this. Cool explosion. So we'll take this and drag it to After Effects. Wait a second, <laughs> and longer, and there it is in our project window. So uh, we'll drag this explosion footage, explosion footage, into our comp. Play it back, so we can see it. So there are two problems with it. First problem, it's too small. So we'll just upscale it. And second problem, the background is black. So to change this, uh, we'll go to mode um, and multiply negative and boom. So there we go. Um, and then we'll drag it down under the text. So right uh, above the background. Okay, so maybe just this size a bit more. Okay, um, so there it is, but um, the time is not correct. So we'll just take it and drag it, drag its beginning there where the shattering also starts. So, okay. That looks good. I'll pre render this by playing zero on the num block. Okay. So, next we'll tweak this shattering a bit. So, stop this. We'll go to uh, shatter composition up here to the effects and to our CC pixel poly. Um, Let's go here to, to see it. We'll adjust the force. This is a real big explosion, so maybe 130. Um, adjust the spinning to about five times, so they're really, you know, spinning. Uh, direction randomness also a bit, about 20% maybe. And it will look much better. Okay. So uh, this looks a bit unspectacular right now because they're just not so much um, pieces. So uh, to make that better we'll take a shadow layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and then we have two times this exact same layer 
and one of them will take and set grid spacing down to about 9 which just reduces the size of these small parts of the debris and y you'll see my, my computer gets instantly slower to preview this so I'll ramp preview this and render it and yeah well it looks nice okay um, so there we go just some other settings just to make it look more explosive raise the force give it a lower gravity um, give it a higher randomness direction as well as speed so it looks more three three dimensional so yeah that that will do the job you can tweak all the settings like you want it and add a third layer and add even more debris all you want but for this tutorial this will be enough really cool um, if you choose this uh, text chat layer and choose your pixel poly effect and just zoom in you will see um, this cross here and this indicates where the the explosion force is explosion force my English is really bad is coming from so if you take this and drag it around you will see um, and if we just drag it to the center of the explosion and choose the layer above and do it again then it looks like it the the force really comes from from the explosion so uh, pretty nice also thing you can tweak very much with it next just some fine tuning we want to fade the movie in from black and fade it out to black so for this we'll add a new solid call it fade and give it the black color go to zero and uh, down to um, this option something like transparency or whatever uh, set a keyframe 200 um, go forward maybe half a second and just go to zero so it fades in same thing at the end of the animation just set a new key. This is important. Um, you have to set a keyframe here by clicking on this, so it stays at zero percent the the whole animation. Otherwise, it will just get slightly, slightly darker and not uh, fast at the end. And then we'll go to the end and go to one hundred percent, and there we go. Obviously, I did it wrong, or did I? I did, I did. So I'm pressing Command Z. Um, go here and create a keyframe at not here. Ah, I did a wrong keyframe. I'll set a keyframe here and go back and then to 100 and then it will work yeah so there we go just fade in and fade out okay um, if you want you can add some sound to it for last fine-tuning um, I'll put the download links for these two sounds um, into the video description um, importing them is pretty easy just drag them in and wait <laughs> until it imported, drag it in, go to your project, they are here, take the, the accident, drag it down here, so you'll see if you press L, the letter L twice, you can see or you can't see the uh, audio level, 
um, and here uh, display it so you can see where it is loud and drag it where the last keyframe is so it fits to your text approaching and the um, explode again you can drag it down here look at these waves and drag it where your explosion starts pretty easy pretty straightforward um, you can adjust something like loudness and etc if it's too loud but um, this is all fine tuning you can uh, do whatever however you want so that's it uh, let's press zero and pre-render it and then preview our animation but I said my computer was pretty fast. Actually, it isn't. <laughs> I'm using an Intel Core i7 2700K. Um, so let's wait these seconds and let's preview a great animation. You are not able to hear the sound, but I will. <laughs> so it's there. It is. So last step, we need to render it, so we'll go here and um, export, add to rendering list, add it again, don't use this option, just don't use it, it will just uh, trash, create huge and huge and huge data, I think this will be at least two or three gigabytes for 10 seconds so choose a format for YouTube this is the best H.264 uh, apply it choose where you want to save it so click on it um, choose where you want to save it that's okay in my case and click on rendering and it renders so that was my second tutorial translation. Hope it helped. Um, if you like it, uh, comment, comment it, share it, uh, whatever, just what all YouTubers ask you for. Um, and if you want more tutorials uh, or help, just um, subscri subscribe, comment, um, and or write me private messages. I'll answer and I will do all the tutorials uh, you want. So. Thanks for watching. Bye. Next, just some fine tuning. We want to fade the movie in from black and fade it out to black. So, for this, we'll add a new solid, call it fade, and give it the black color. Go to zero and uh, down to. Um, this option, something like transparency or whatever. Uh, set a keyframe 200. Um, go forward maybe half a second and just go to zero. So it fades in. Same thing at the end of the animation. Just set a new key th this is important um you have to set a keyframe here by clicking on this so it stays at zero percent the the whole animation otherwise it will just get slightly slightly darker and not uh, fast at the end and then we'll go to the end and go to 100 percent and there we go Obviously, I did it wrong, or did I? I did, I did. So I'm pressing Command Z. Um, go here and create a keyframe at not here. Ah, I did a wrong keyframe. I'll set a keyframe here and go back and then to 100 and then it will work. Yeah. So, there we go. Just fade
fade in and fade out. Okay, um, if you want you can add some sound to it for last fine tuning. Um, I'll put the download links for these two sounds um, into the video description. Um, importing them is pretty easy, just drag them in and wait <laughs> until it imported, drag it in, go to your project, they are here, take the the accident, drag it down here, so you'll see if you press L, the letter L twice, you can see or you can't see the uh, audio level, um, and here, uh, this play it, so you can see where it is loud and drag it where the last keyframe is so it fits to your text approaching and the um, explode again you can drag it down here look at these waves and drag it where your explosion starts pretty easy pretty straightforward um, you can adjust something like loudness and etc if it's too loud but um, this is all fine tuning you can uh, do uh, whatever however you want so that's it uh, let's press zero and pre-render it and then preview our animation but I said my computer was pretty fast. Actually, it isn't. <laughs> I'm using an Intel Core i7 2700K. Um, so let's wait these seconds and let's preview a great animation. You are not able to hear the sound, but I will. <laughs> so it's there. It is. So last step, we need to render it, so we'll go here and um, export, add to rendering list, add it again, don't use this option, just don't use it, it will just uh, trash, create huge and huge and huge data, I think this will be at least two or three gigabytes for 10 seconds so choose a format for YouTube this is the best H.264 uh, apply it choose where you want to save it so click on it um, choose where you want to save it that's okay in my case and click on rendering and it renders so that was my second tutorial translation. Hope it helped. Um, if you like it, uh, comment, comment it, share it, uh, whatever, just what all YouTubers ask you for. Um, and if you want more tutorials uh, or help, just um, subscri subscribe, comment, um, and or write me private messages. I'll answer and I will do all the tutorials uh, you want. So. Thanks for watching. Bye.